Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Dean Delaney. I'm honored to give the remarks on behalf of the Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Nursing, nursing Practice graduates. I know I speak for my colleagues here with me when I say thank you. Thank you all for being here remotely and in person. Thank you to the School of Nursing staff and faculty for your guidance, your mentorship, your wisdom, and your friendship. To our Dean Delaney, she's kept our spirits up through the darkest days of the pandemic and who, with honest appraisal of our situation, has continued to inspire us to dig deeper and not lose hope. Thank you to our friends and families who we love and who've gone without us for so long. Thank you to my fellow students, my dear friends, for being on this journey with me. And thank you, Diane Tree Jacobson, for your monumental support, for your mentorship, and for sparking my passion. And this speech is about passion. <laughs> but uh, what a year. Or has it been a month, or has it been three years? I, it's been a time filled with grief, exhaustion, and sometimes hope. And I would just invite you all to take a collective sigh with me as we mark this moment in time. Okay, I'll give you the ready and then sigh, and then you sigh on the sigh, okay? Ready? And sigh. <laughs> you know, before the pandemic, the World Health Assembly announced that 2020 was to be the year of the nurse and nurse midwife, and it did, indeed it has been. It's declared as such in honor of the 200th birthday of the great Florence Nightingale. And for those of you who don't know about Flo, she is not the progressive lady, but in fact, she's the founder of modern nursing, a great nurse innovator and nurse scientist. Florence Nightingale established that nursing knowledge was distinct from medical knowledge, that nurses ought to be concerned with all dimensions of the person, the physical, intellectual, emotional, spiritual, social. That health is not only to be well, but to be able to use well every power we have. She used statistics, data visualization, systems organization to prevent the spread of disease. Her tenants of nursing care focused on the environment, that to heal patients needed light, fresh air, sanitation, pure water. These tenants and tools from the 1800s still hold true today to meet similar problems. And as the great contemporary philosopher Robert Plant says, the song remains the same. Florence felt that she was called by God to do her work, and she was passionate. So be passionate and figure out what you're passionate about. I'm passionate about peripheral artery disease, or PAD. And I have a dear friend, Andrea Stinson, who when we were in nursing school and I was feeling sort of conflicted seeing all these areas of nursing where people really needed help, but I really didn't want to leave PAD. And Andrea said, Becca, not everyone is passionate about what you are passionate about. And by golly, she's right. Because when I was a little girl, I did not think that I would be passionate about gangrenous feet. But here I am. And thanks to Dr. Treat Jacobson, passionate about research, passionate about helping people, people with PAD. My friend Andrea went on to say, you have to follow your passion, Becca, because you need your passion to get you through the worst times. And I think it's safe to say that for many of us, these times have been some of the worst. But through my worst times, I've treasured the horrible lessons I've learned. I've learned that it's okay to be afraid, to doubt, to have joy and grief together. I've learned that in our darkest hours, we may lose the light, but we find ourselves, and we find our passion, and we find our power. And we find our passion not just to get through the day, but to flourish, to connect, to work together. As nurses and here at this fine institution, we relish working together in interdisciplinary teams, bringing our passions 
and our superpowers together to innovatively alleviate the suffering of those around us. And with the challenges we face and the times we're up against, we really have to give it all we've got. So to conclude, I draw on another passion of mine, which in true nerd form is the Lord of the Rings. And there's a great Gandalf quote when Frodo brokenheartedly says that he wishes that none of this had ever happened. And just to be absolutely clear, I'm not talking about the PhD program, because it was great. But Frodo says he wishes that none of this had ever happened, and Gandalf says, so do all who live to see such times, but it is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. So with your time, I implore you graduates, and all of us, to embrace our passions, to help people, and to be in community as one with each other. Our legends from history, like Florence, are maybe just who you are today. So thank you all, and thank you so much for being here for us today.